All right, we're gonna go ahead and build on what we did in our last video uh, with the boxes, but this time we're gonna do something with teams. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what this looks like. We say total number of students, number of teams, but the only difference here is what we're going to output. Uh, we're going to output actually what, uh, how many people are going to be on each team. So if I have three teams of five and one team of four or something like that. So we are going to do that today. So notice our unique IDs, our function call, our output div, and we do reference app.js up here. Again, this code you can find in the description of the video. So let's go ahead and make a function called get teams. And then inside of get teams, I'm gonna say let students equals, and then we're gonna parse this because it's gonna be a number. And then document dot get element by ID. We have a student's ID dot value. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm getting an error. Let me open this up a little bit. Parse float. Okay. Hey, that looks good. All right. And then we'll say let teams equals parse float document dot get element by ID. Uh, it was teams dot value. Okay. So there's our inputs. And then let's go ahead and get first the remainder of people that aren't going to fit into a full size team. Okay, we can do that by saying let remainder equals, and then we just say students modulus teams, right? Because that'll always give us the leftovers. If I say 21 and five teams, well, if five goes into 21 four times and there's one left over, this will give us that remainder. All right, then we can say let uh, students per team equal math.floor. This is just like math.seal, except it'll force the number to round down. And we'll just say students divided by teams. So it'll give us a nice full number, a nice whole number. Okay, so there's all the calculation we really need. Uh, and then let's go ahead and say let message equals, uh, and then we'll say teams minus remainder plus teams of plus students per team. Okay. And if I run this, watch what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna say we have 21 students, well, I'll say 16 and five, and then we'll hit that button, and you can see it's not working right now. We need, we need to figure out our output also, but then we also have to account for some type of a condition where we have extras, okay? So in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this program, and we'll learn how to do if statements so that we can figure this out together.